Good morning, Quadcopter101 here. Before we get started, let's get today's shout out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Sangle Chang. Sangle Chang was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here with a neat review of a new whoop. This is the Maker Fire Armor 85 HD. What is the Armor 85 HD? Well, it's the first whoop, at least that I've seen, that includes the capability of recording directly to a micro onboard micro SD card. Um, it inclu also includes an HD camera, by the way. Uh, I'll go over that here shortly. Let's go over what you get in the box. First off, you get a strap, the battery strap here. You get a battery charger. You get this 400 milliamp hour 7.4 volt 2S LiPo battery. 30C battery, by the way. Uh, you get a bunch of uh, decals if you want to make your whoop into a racer. <laughs> uh, you get uh, a service card. Uh, this does not come with an instruction manual. There is an electronic instruction manual available at Maker Fire, and I'll include a link down below uh, uh, where you can uh, get that manual and uh, go through that manual. Uh, but other things you get. Now, this has on screen display. But it also has this, this, this button here is for used uh, for plugging into the drone, for adjusting the on-screen display. It also has beta flight configurable on-screen display, so, you know, <laughs> that's not the important thing. What's most important about this button is this button here that you plug into the camera enables you to switch between the different camera uh, modes of the camera. It comes available in 1080p at 60 frames per second. That's its default. But you could switch that to 1080p 30 frames per second or 720p uh, 60 frames per second. But you need to use this button through the menus, the on-screen display menus, to adjust that. Uh, additional things you get in the box is a spare set of propellers along with a spare set of screws. And a uh, little Allen wrench to enable you to uh, um, change those screws. <laughs> so Okay, now let's take a closer look at the drone itself. Now, I mentioned it comes with a 1080p HD camera on the front that can be swiveled up or down. Uh, the frame of the drone, the main frame of the drone, is carbon fiber, but the uh, propeller guards and the top grill on the top here are plastic. Um, let's go over its transmitter. It's a 40 channel 2500 uh, or 100 milliwatt switchable transmitter uh, with smart audio capability, so you can adjust the channels and the frequency or the uh, power levels using your uh, goggles along with your controller through the uh, on-screen display menus. Um, I did mention it does have a DVR built into it. And I want to show you that up close here if you, if you can see this actually. But there's my micro SD card right in there, inserted in there. It's right, the um, DVR is installed right under the flight control board. Again, the flight control board is on top here, but the DVR is there. Uh, it has the micro SD card. Now, the one thing that I had a problem with, <laughs> it took me a while to figure this out, was to find the button that enables you to turn on and off the video recording, to start and stop the video recording. It's on the right side, right rear side of that board, that DVR board, and it was hidden behind these wires, folks. It took me a long time to find this thing. But pushing these wires out of the way, I finally found it. And there it is right there. So you press it to start the video recording for about one second, and a blue light will start blinking. And you stop the video recording by holding that button down for about three seconds, and that will stop the video recording. Always important to stop a video recording, or you will lose the video file. Um, the flight control board on here, and again, that's the board directly above it, is a uh, omnibus flight control board. Uh, let me hold on. It's... Uh, it's loaded up with Omnibus 3.5.4, dated 17 December. So it's relatively new fl uh, flight software on there. Um, it's a F3 flight control board, though, folks. Uh, other things on here is this has 1103 uh, 10,000 kV motors, and this is compatible with 2S or 3S batteries. Again, they provide you with a 2S battery to fly this. Um, now, the problems that I had with this was, uh, first off, Betaflight, in beta flight, you'll notice that all switch settings, this is set to angle mode for angle mode flying. I don't know if uh, Be Armor 85 intends this to be flown only in angle or not. <laughs> but I went into beta flight and I changed the settings so I could fly this in angle. We'll start off in angle when we do go fly this. Uh, but it also could be switched. I switched it to horizon. Uh, and also I have it set up for acro. I would like to try acro flying too with this, obviously. Since this is a micro whoop. And the other thing, the other issue that I had with this 
and most people are probably going to uh, discover this also, is this will not arm. You're, you're probably going to have some arming problems if the drone is tilted like this. Okay, it doesn't uh, level. It's, you know, it doesn't stand very level. And with that in mind, it'll tilt normally if you put it on the ground, especially with a battery inserted. And there is a safety restriction in Betaflight that will not allow you to arm the motors if it exceeds an angle, I believe, about 25 degrees. And this does exceed 25 degrees when it's normally <laughs> loaded up. So to, to arm this, folks, you're going to need to probably prop, prop it up somehow with a rock or whatever to keep, uh, keep it level. It's just so it could take off, folks, and arm that motors and take off. Otherwise, you'll find yourself, you'll sw throw the arm switch, and you'll say, why isn't this arming? It's because it's tilted too much, and it's a safety cutoff. Um, that you know, it just won't allow it to arm uh, if it goes greater than 25 degrees. Okay, so that's about it, folks. I uh, hear the beeping of my batteries. Uh, they're re already full, ready to go. So let's take this out in the field, see how it flies, and, and give it a try. So hope you enjoy this flight, folks. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. We're going to do a flight here of the Maker Fire 85 HD. Uh, first off, I'm going to just do a line of sight flight. Now, I got an old 2S battery in here. Uh, it's not the best in the world. It's a generic one. It's probably 20, only 20C, but it should be enough to just fly it around uh, so that you can see it up uh, flying uh, through line of sight. And then we're going to switch to its stock battery and uh, do acro flying with this uh, FPV flying. Uh, first off, let's start it up by powering it up. And actually, I should have my transmitter turned on too at the same time. Hold on, let me turn my T8SG on here. All switches up. Everything's safe. So we should be bound. Now, again, to start up the video recording, there's this button in the back right section here, okay? Here's the front camera. And in the back right, there's that tiny little button there. And we're going to need to press in on that. You need to press this button one time. There it goes. We should be recording. Now, there's no visual indication on here that I'm seeing that we are recording. I see a blinking, no, I see a solid blue light here in the back. Uh, no, it's blue, green, and red. So that's our uh, FPV transmitter. But I'm not seeing any indication. I see a blinking red light in the back, but I'm not sure what that is. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the issue about this not arming. Okay, let's put it down just like it is. And see how it tilts to the right there, folks? Let's, let me arm it. I'm in uh, line of sight or angle mode and selecting arm. Let's see if the motors start up. See? They will not start up. And that's a safety uh, uh, re restriction uh, that it, if it's greater than 25 degrees tilted, it will not start. Now I'm going to put a little battery underneath that to level it off. That's its stock battery underneath. Let's see if it arms now. And there we go. So if you're having problems arming this, it's most likely because of that angle restriction. So let's fly it around in line of sight here. Let's bring it in close. I'm using it, again, this is a cheap, cheap 2S battery that I got in there. Not the best in the world by any means. Very generic, but it works. Let's go up high and show the camera. Just showing its camera capability. And that's it. Now let's fly fast line of sight. Coming down low. Coming by me. And I got a raven here. If I can chase this raven, that'd be fun. <laughs> I always love to chase the ravens. And this little 2S battery is not performing too badly, this generic one. But again, I want to show the camera. Let's go over the geese. Snow geese coming around the other way here. So, you know, now it's not really punchy with that 2S. You probably want to go 3S if you want the punch. <laughs> but it's enough to fly it. Definitely is. Let's see if I can go around the pole. Line of sight. Line, line of sight. And again, folks, it's a very important skill to learn to be able to fly this line of sight. Uh, all I'm doing is, if I notice it moving to the right, 
when I'm pushing forward on the right stick to bring it back to me, all I need to do is push or turn to the right and it'll come back to me. And right now it's moving off to the left side, so slowly turn left until the movement stops. And now I know it's coming right back to me, so. Fun little machine here in line of sight. Now I want to go into acro here, so we're not going to turn this, uh, run this battery until it's dead. But we're going to land it and then we'll switch to acro. So hold on, folks. Let me land it right there. And disarm me. Okay. And uh, again, after your flight, remember to, where's my, <laughs> where did I put that again? You've got to turn off that video camera or else you will lose the recording. So I'm going to press that button one more time and hold it down. And that should have stopped it. So let's go do a second flight with this. And this time uh, I'm going to be flying with FPV. So hold on. Uh, I'm noticing my camera here that I, you can tell that it's recording because you'll see a recording uh, uh, insignia up in the top there. It says rec, rec, rec. I don't know. And let me hit the recording on my DVR so you can probably see that now. Uh, that's my DVR. So I'm going to switch back and forth between the DVR recording and the HD recording as we fly here. And again, I'm going to be, I want to fly it in acro first. I'm going to start off at acro because we haven't done that yet. Uh, and actually, acro air. And loading the motors, arming them, and take it to the air. Let me get a feel for it before you a little too wild with it but there we go okay let me take it around the pole one time now saying 3.35 volts 3.4 volts already that was a full battery before I took off so keep that in mind let's go up and try it a, a roll <laughs> we can do that and actually I want to go down low and fast let's bring it by us One, three, nope, hit the ah. tree. <laughs> Going around the area one more time. Let's go over the geese. Hello, geese. They don't seem to care. I keep getting that low battery warning. I gotta raise that up because this can go lower than that. Going around there. Trying it over here. Going down through here. See if I can go through here. Without hitting anything, going up again. I'm going up higher again because I want to do another roll. Get a roll. Coming around. Do an end over end. Yeah. It feels a little heavy, but it's not. You know, I, I weighed the thing. It's only 74 grams without the battery. But it's flying well. It actually is. Let's go around to the right now. So if you're looking for one that can record HD, this can do it. There's those geese. Come down low over the geese. Hello, Mr. Geese. They don't care about it. They're used to it now from me flying here all the time. <laughs> those geese are here all winter. You know, they, they come here and spend time uh, when it gets too cold up in Canada, they come down here and just spend the summer or winter here with us. There's, okay, that battery's getting low now. We're going to land it soon. Uh, I still got a little power on it. I'm just going to take it slow now. I'm not pushing it too hard here. But I will be landing it here shortly. And let me go back to angle mode, stabilized. Now, this is the way it comes, folks, in stabilized mode for you. You're supposed to be flying this around and stabilize but <laughs> out of the box. Okay, that battery's getting low. I'm going to land it right there and disarming. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over there and turn off the recording too. So let me uh, stop the recording of my goggles. And I'll go over and stop the recording on the drone. Yeah, I'll take that hat, thanks, my love. So that's the Cadex or the uh, Armor 85 HD. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I hope that camera is recording nicely. We'll find out here shortly. But again, you get an indication in your uh, FPV goggles of if, if it's recording or not. I'm going to press that button right now. And I'm going to double check on my goggles to make sure that recording is stopped before I disconnect power from the drone. And looking on my goggles, my... Yep, don't see the recording anymore, so it has been stopped. So let me disconnect the battery. 
So, the Armor 85, not too bad. There seems to be a little bit of gunk there on the lens, but um, all in all, it wasn't too bad of a flyer. Um, it's not super punchy, but again, I'm using a 2S battery. If you put a 3S in there, this probably will become a much more zippy bird. <laughs> It will become a much more zippy bird. You go with 3S. So I would recommend considering 3S batteries for flying this. But again, remember the shortcoming I told you about the, um, again, if it tilts too much, it will not arm. You're going to have to prop it up level to get it to arm. So this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.